Hey guys, welcome back to Grafting Dragon Fruit. It's Richard and today we're going to be talking about a question that was left in the comments. The question was, why does my dragon fruit flower but doesn't have fruit after pollination? So in this video, we're going to talk about why it happens, how to identify it, and what's the solution to fix it. So let's get right into it. Number one, why it happens. There can only be one reason why this is happening to your dragon fruit, and it's because your dragon fruit variety is self-sterile. What I mean by self-sterile is, when your dragon fruit flower is blooming, you're collecting its pollen, and you're pollinating it with its own pollen, and you're not getting any fruit to set. So after five or seven days, you notice your fruit starting to get a little weak, it's not growing, and eventually it turns yellow, and then eventually just falls right off. So that is how you know what kind of variety you have when you try that pollination process. If you're using its own pollen and it's falling off, most likely that dragon fruit variety is self-sterile. So my Edgar baby here, this is a self-sterile variety. And this fruit won't set into a fruit after pollination unless I use another variety to cross-pollinate it. And terminology here, cross-pollination just means taking pollen from another variety and then collecting that pollen to use to pollinate the dragon fruit variety that's self-sterile. So when you guys have these type of flowers, make sure you know if they are self-sterile or self-fertile. So that's how you find out what it is. Number two, there's two ways to identify if your variety is self-sterile. Number one is probably the easiest method. I have a dragon fruit community on Facebook called Grafting Dragon Fruit. So I'll leave that link below, but basically it's a whole community of all dragon fruit lovers just like me. They all have these varieties and everybody share these varieties amongst each other. So you can go in there if you know what variety you have and ask them, hey guys, is this Edgar's baby variety self-sterile or self-fertile? And most likely the people in there will know if it's a self-sterile or self-fertile variety. So that's probably the easiest way to find out. And number two, if you don't know what variety it is, then you're gonna to have to sacrifice a flower. I know you guys are gonna be like, what, I have to sacrifice a flower? But trust me, you guys, it's gonna be better to sacrifice one flower to find out the data if it's self-sterile or self-fertile. So that way, you don't risk losing all of your other flower. So to me, I think sacrificing one flower will be the best method here if you don't know what your variety you have. But if you do, you can save those flowers by going into that dragon fruit community that I have on Facebook. So how we're gonna identify is, once your flower blooms, and I'll just give you guys a little better image here since this flower just bloomed for me yesterday night. So this is purple haze. This is a very good example of a self-sterile variety. When, I, uh, when this flower bloom, uh, the pollen is in here. So these are called the anthers, and this is the stigma. So every dragon fruit flower has these two anatomy parts here. This is basically the babies, and this is the eggs. So you're gonna take the babies and you're gonna put it on here and that's how the fertilization happens. But if it's a self-sterile variety, you can't take these pollen and put it on this stigma here to have fruit. So what I had to do was I took, I had to cross pollinate it, you guys. So how to identify is, is take their own pollen, pollinate it, and see if the flower stays on after five or seven days. If you start to see it's turning yellow, get soft, and eventually fall off after five to seven days, then the chances of your dragon fruit variety being self-sterile is very high. But if you take its pollen and you pollinate it with its own pollen and the flower sets and it becomes a fruit, it starts to get hard like this after five or seven days, it doesn't turn yellow. You're gonna start seeing a, a separation from the flower and the fruit and it's gonna start turning yellow here, where eventually you're gonna be able to break this flower off and all that's left is this fruit here. So you're gonna have this fruit there. This is where I took off the flower. This is the, the stigma. You see it dries right up because the pollination cycle was successful. So that's how you can identify if it's self-fertile or self-sterile. Number three, the solution to fix all of this is to grow multiple dragon fruit varieties. As you guys can see in my garden, I have plenty of different dragon fruit varieties, so I never have to worry about a self-sterile variety going dead on me and having a flower abort. 
So if you only have one dragon fruit variety, then I recommend you go to the Facebook group that I just mentioned about and ask if there's anyone local to your area that has fresh pollen that night. Sometimes people even store pollen and freeze them. So you can maybe trade them some fruit or you know offer them a meal in trade of dragon fruit pollen. So you're gonna have to grow a different variety or that's another there's another way too if you don't if you can get pollen might as well if you're meeting up meeting them up for pollen you can ask them if they have a different dragon fruit variety from yours so you can grow so next season you'll have another variety to have pollen to cross pollinate your self stir variety that's been failing after pollination so that's how you guys are going to fix it and if you guys are still running out all of those problems you guys the community is a great way to get in contact with people to figure out your solutions you know all of these comments are really good and i really appreciate you guys leaving it in there the questions are amazing because it helps everybody in the community learn from their mistakes and you know sometimes people are just embarrassed or scared to ask those questions but when you do that it helps everybody benefit from it so that's a really good thing that you guys are doing. And I'm so happy that you guys are asking these comments. And you know, there's only one of me and there is thousands of you guys. It's really, really hard for me to get to all of your guys' questions, but I try my best and I do read all of the comments. So when I see a really good question in there, I get so excited because I'm like, yes, now I get to make content about this topic. And I hope that it helps everybody and everybody can benefit off of my videos. So thank you, you guys for all of those questions. Keep them coming and I'll try my best to answer them through my videos or jump in the comments to answer them really quickly. All right, guys, I hope all of these questions or all of these tips help you guys understand why your dragon fruit flower and after pollination, your flower falls off and aborts. So thank you so much, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And again, if you guys have any questions, or any other videos of content that I wanna make, leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Grafting Dragon Food. Peace out guys.